Hi, I'm Nick with DuramaxTuner.com. Today I want to talk to you about L5P Turbo Surge, what it is, and how you can fix it. Okay, so there's two kinds of turbo surge that we've noticed on the L5P. One is electronic, and that can be seen on a data logger by watching as you lug the truck, watch the turbo vane position, and if it goes from, call it 60, 70, 80% down to 15, and then back, that's the truck protecting itself from turbo surge by dropping vane position out of the truck. That's a tuning issue. If that's happening on your truck, you need a tune update. Talk to your tuner, give us a call if it's something that we've worked with you in the past on, we're happy to help. Otherwise, get with your tuner specifically. The rest of this video is gonna be on turbo surge, actual compressor surge. So, something you can audibly hear in the truck when you're under load. So you might be 12, 13, 1400 RPM, maybe up to even 1700 RPM, leaning on the truck, putting a lot of load on it, maybe a trailer behind it, and you're hearing a cough, and you might see your mass airflow rate fluctuate, but you're not seeing your vein position change. So choo-choo, 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 that kind of thing, right? That loading and unloading of the compressor, that's compressor surge, it's not healthy, it's something we want to avoid. It's not good for the performance of your truck. We have solutions, let me show you. Now, most modern diesels have anti-surge covers. I'm gonna show you one that doesn't, just so you can see an example. This is the 2.8 liter Colorado, so the LWN engine. This is a smooth bore cover. There's no anti-surge. You can see basically what you see is what you get. There's nothing fancy going on in the cover. The Power Stroke, the Cummins, the L5P all use anti-surge covers. And what that means is that there's a groove about midway down the compressor wheel. And that groove recirculates air from the compressor up and back to the face of the compressor wheel. And what it's doing there is trying to lower the pressure ratio on the compressor wheel to keep it in boost, to keep it off the surge line and to allow you to lug the truck hard without having compressor surge. On the Cummins, it's really easy to see. This is a 351 VE cover. This is a 2007 and newer Cummins. You can see that air comes out of this groove, fills this cavity under load, and then is redirected by the angle of this piece down into the compressor wheel. The L5P uses a really similar setup. And I'll show you with the compressor wheel in it. Now this is our 64 millimeter cover. So boost is coming out of this groove, going in the cavity, and then coming back up and being redirected to the front of the wheel. Now this piece here is our Duramax tuner anti-surge ring. It's matched to the compressor cover, meaning that if you have a 64 millimeter wheel charger, you need a 64 millimeter surge ring. If you have a 67, likewise, you need a 67 millimeter ring, and we have an OEM as well. The reason for that is it's really important that we get the air directed right onto the compressor wheel. It makes the anti-surge most efficient. By having an efficient anti-surge, it means we can lug the truck under really high load. You make a lot of torque, really capitalize on towing performance without running into compressor surge. You might be thinking, why don't I just use the stock intake air horn, Nick? It's already got the anti-surge built into it. I don't want to spend money. That's fine. What you should know is that the stock intake air horn works fine on a stock turbocharger. The problem is that this inlet here, this inlet bell is too small for a 64 millimeter and way too small for a 67 millimeter wheel, which means it's gonna cost you power. What you're probably gonna to wanna to do is upgrade to this open style air horn. Now this is a WC Fab part. It's got a bigger ID inside diameter. It's got a nicer bend to it. It's basically gonna make more power up top. Maybe that's 10, maybe that's 15, maybe that's 20 horsepower, depending on how hard your truck is fueling, how much power you're asking out of your truck. When you buy this, this piece is modular. So these two pieces work in harmony, they stack. Okay, so maybe you buy this and you buy one for an OEM turbo. And then when you upgrade to the 67, you buy the 67 millimeter ring and you use those in tandem. So modular, able to be interchanged, um, work slick together. Now maybe you have an intake air horn that looks like this. It has an anti-surge piece in it, but it's not quite as effective as the ones we sell. What you might want to do here is turn this into an open style intake air horn. You can do that with a die grinder. Just make it, just take these three pieces out, clean them up, make that look like that. Okay? Then you have yourself a modular intake air horn. You can use our ring. All right, so takeaways here. If you're driving your L5P and you're under heavy load and you're seeing boost change under heavy load, that's, that's the problem. It should not change. It should be consistent. It should be consistent and smooth. If you're seeing a change and you're seeing vein position change, spe specifically down to 15% and then back up to normal, 15 to normal, and maybe a one second cycle, 
that's a tuning issue. That's separate of this. You need to talk to your tuner about that. Again, we'd be happy to help at DuramaxTuner.com. If you're having a surge issue that is related to airflow, usually you can hear it. You can hear it through the intake, you can hear it in the cab, and usually it's under very high load and low RPM. If you have that issue, the surge ring situation here in our intake air horn can help. We'd be happy to help you out with that. Similarly, if you have a 64 millimeter or a 67 millimeter turbocharger, be it a Stealth or from some other brand, and you want to make the most of its low end performance, and mitigate surge, talk to us about our surge rings, we can help you there. I'm Nick Pregnitz, this is DuramaxTuner.com, 815-568-7920. Give us a call if you think we can help.